welcome back to the heavy user channel so today i'm going to show you how to downgrade your iphone 13.5.1 to 13.2.3 and 13.1.3 so you can also downgrade your phone to a 4.4 also so this video is very very special for everyone so please don't skip the video watch the full video so let's get started So this is my iPhone 8 Plus so I'm going to downgrade this phone to 13.5.1 to 13.2.3 so let's see first of all I'm going to connect my iPhone with the recovery mode so press your power button and connect your USB cable So my iPhone is on the recovery mode so now I'm going to open a trio tools and flash my iPhone with 13.5.1 I'm going to import my firmware because uh, so, uh, because I already download iOS 13.5.1 so I can, I'm selecting this one so my file is imported I'm going to click flash successfully so I'm going to show you it's 13.5.1 or not so it's 13.5.1 uh, so now we are going to downgrade our phone by 13.5.1 So as you can see my boot train is already open and I'm going to jailbreak my iPhone with the latest Jcron version 0.10.2. First of all we need to go to the recovery mode because the iOS 13.5.1 uh, jailbreak not supported. So I'm going to turn off my phone and you have to connect your USB cable again. recovery mode so now so now I'm going to jailbreak yeah. so my iPhone is jailbreak successfully done so now I'm going to bypass so after I bypass I'm going to downgrade my iPhone with the latest iOS version 13.5.1 to 13.2.3 and 13.1.3 also. So you have to install first Cydia, Filesa and the section and I hope you already know that how to install Cydia and Filesa and the section. This is very easy. First of all you have to install Filesa and then you have to install this section so now we are going to downgrade our phone and let's Downgrade. do it so you thank you frb file for the tool and who credit goes to frbfile.com so you have to watch the all kinds of video from there and i put the link on my description below and 
we have to open two and I, I give the two link on my description below also first of all you have to respring your iPhone you have to click it so as you can see the UDID code is running I'm go and just you have to wait for a few seconds few minutes because this is the old tool that's why it's taking too much time sorry so don't close the tool so my re spring gun so it's showing that the re spring is done so now we are going to click fix filza you have to click it and it's showing the fields are done and you have to click real spring again so after real spring done, then you have to click the section click fix the section and it's showing done and you have to respring your phone again so my again respring done so now you have to click copy IPSW so I'm going to tell you that you have to download your IPSW from uh, the website I put the link on my description below you have to download it download the firmware uh, I was 13.2.3 so as you can see my firmware is already downloaded I'm going to click and it's open so as you can see and it's copying so you have to wait for five and six or seven minutes so my request is don't go anywhere any browser or don't play music for because this bypass tools make your PC and laptop too much slow so don't do anything so you have to wait for seven minutes or five minutes so I'm going to skip this video see my copy IPSW copy is done so everything is good so now I'm going to the iPhone so I'm going to downgrade right now so let's go to the iPhone so first of all you have to turn off your display sleep go to the settings and you have to click display and brightness and now you have to click auto lock and click never so <coughs> refresh your phone so now you have to open a section click not now dismiss and you have to go to the settings and you can see the only restore system that one you have to turn it on so <coughs> IPSW is detected so now dismiss so you have to click uh, download clean file system so use uh, provide IPSW overwrite so verifying so you have to wait for few minutes let's see my verify is done <coughs> so you have to listen very carefully click back and and you have to click paper for restore so wait for 10 seconds or 15 seconds so my 10 seconds is done so now we have to click erase and click bing for restore so you can see my 13.2.3 is installing you have to wait for few minutes and it's taking some like seven or six minutes <laughs> so and you can see my restore is success and now you have to try to turn your phone 
directly. So now you can see it's boot looping. That's mean your IPSW installed successfully. So you have to jailbreak your iPhone again. So now I'm going to jailbreak my iPhone. So now I'm going to jailbreak my iPhone with uh, check when 0.10.1 or you can also use 0.10.2 so <clears throat> my phone is already connected so now I'm going to jailbreak You have to keep your old password. So play. So my iOS 13.2.3 is installing. You can see that. So my install done. I'm going to give a proof that it's uh, installed successful or not. So you can see that my iOS 13.2.3 is successful updated. That that's mean my downgrade is successful. iOS 13.5.1 to 13.2.3. So we are going to bypass it. So after downgrading, you have to click uh, restore Wi-Fi because my Wi-Fi is not working. So you have to just press like you have to press it and after press you can see the Wi-Fi restore successfully done. So now I'm going to bypass my iPhone. So my bypass is successfully done. So finally downgrade is successfully done i hope you guys like the video now i'm going to show you it's downgrade or not so you can see my ios 13.2.3 is successfully downgrade please so please like my video and subscribe uh, hope you guys successful on your downgrading